Well, good morning. I'm David Feldman with Exembla Consulting, and I'm here with Martina Papatasinio from QIC Global Infrastructure. Martina, welcome to Nice. Hi, David. Hi. Tell us a little about QIC. Um, QIC is a, um, a global infrastructure investor. We have a portfolio of about $9 billion mm. of investments around the world. Um, and in terms of our airports investment, we mm. have an investment in Brisbane Airport, um, which is a, um, a, an airport that has about 20 million mm. passengers, and we have a 25% interest in that airport. But we're interested in airports, mm -hmm. generally. Um, Why do you think there are so many financial investors that are getting more and more interested in airports? I think this year we've had a record number mm. of bankers attending GAD. Why the big interest and why now? Well, I think um, there's, a, there's a lot of interest in um, infrastructure around the world um, investment. A and the reason for that is because, um, you know, we've got an environment where, you know, investors are concerned about inflation. Mm. Um, there's relatively low yields mm -hmm. in, in the bond market. Mm -hmm. so, so they're interested in how mm -hmm. can they get an inflation mm -hmm. hedge with, with low risk. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're attracted to infrastructure. What's happened is investors look at infrastructure as core and core mm -hmm. plus with, you know, good mm -hmm. downside sure, protection. Um, and what, what they've found is that, um, you know, in the core space, returns are getting bid lower and lower. Mm -hmm. So they're starting to look at airports in particular because with airports you have, you know, the regulated mm -hmm. um, aeronautical revenue stream, which mm -hmm. is CPI linked, mm -hmm. and then you have a lot of upside from the commercial activities. Non yeah, yeah, commercial mm -hmm. activities. So you have property, mm -hmm. you know, with the airport mm -hmm. sort of city concept evolving, mm -hmm. you have retail, um, you have mm -hmm. car parks. Um, so that makes it sort of more attractive. Mm -hmm. And there's quite a lot of you can do from an operational efficiency sort of perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's been a number of quite interesting transactions done in, in, in the last year. And I think they highlight sort of the, the variety of um, mm -hmm. transactions. I mean, we've had, you know, the Puerto Rico. Um, so we've got something happening in the, in mm -hmm. the US market, which mm -hmm. is quite positive. It's an important first step. Yeah, yeah and I think there's, there's you know, it'd be great if um, we can see more airport investments in the US. <laughs> we'll so see. We're we hopeful. will see. We're yeah. hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, also um, the Stansted Manchester transaction mm -hmm. and the Hog Teeth portfolio, mm -hmm. which you know has been on the market for quite a long time. So Ma Martina, do you see more transactions in the developed OECD world, or do you see more coming up in emerging markets? I think there'll be a number of transactions. I mean, the pipeline's not super strong. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there are um, a number of transactions coming up in the developed mm. world in the next few years. There's a number of the closed-end funds. Mm. We're a long-term investor, so we hold for the, for the life. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a number of financial investors that are closed-end mm. funds, so they have to exit at some point mm. in time. As a number of those funds come to um, maturity, mm -hmm. they will actually seek to okay. exit their investments. There are a lot of investments coming up in the emerging markets, and I think that's um, will be interesting how financial investors approach mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. um, be particularly you know when they're greenfield and the risk, yeah. you know that that will be a it's a, a complicated a complicated yeah animal. so so it'll be interesting to see how that actually okay. evolves with financial investors involvement. Just one last question: as you think about all of the presentations over the past few days, yeah. what's been the most insight? What's been the biggest insights that have come out for you? I think um, the biggest insights are that you know there's. Um, Obviously, a lot of um, I think you know the, the the airport industry still has a lot of growth. Mm. Um, I mean, I know, I know there's relatively low growth in Europe, but I think there's potentially still a lot of growth um, mm. across the market. There's you know changing dynamics in different regions, which mm. we all have to think about. I think one of the challenges also is you know how we deal with you know additional capacity mm. and how that actually gets funded. Because mm. it's you know it's it's a large course, yes. capital mm. upfront payment. Mm. Um, you know we saw quite a lot of debate around what's going to happen in the L London market, mm -hmm. for example, and who's going to build the runway. I suspect <laughs> we'll see that same debate next year, yeah. but we will see. Yeah, we will it's see. Been around for a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's been it's been a very uh, interesting, quite a, a broad variety of people attending, Great. and yeah, it's been it's been a good good conference. Martina, will you see you here next year? I hope so. I Great. hope you will. Great. <laughs> Well, thank you very <laughs> okay. much, and thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.